Welcome back. As of today, the National Hurricane Center is tracking five tropical systems. That is above average, even for the peak of hurricane season. Fox 44 meteorologist Emily Kay joins us live from the Weather Center to show us just how out of the ordinary this hurricane season has been. Hey, Emily. Hey, Adam. The last time there were five active tropical cyclones in the Atlantic was in 1971. And this isn't the first unusual thing we've seen about this hurricane season. From a massive Category 4 hurricane. This has been categorized repeatedly as an unsurvival, unsurvivable storm surge. To the possibility of two tropical systems in the Gulf of Mexico at once, this hurricane season has been anything but ordinary. And now the National Hurricane Center is tracking five tropical cyclones at the same time. One of those storms, Hurricane Sally, is projected to make landfall between Louisiana and Florida in the next few days. Storm surge projections continue to be worrisome. Uh, with uh, anywhere from five to eight feet overall coast surge. The latest named storm is Tropical Storm Vicky, which is expected to be short lived. But this leaves only one name left for the National Hurricane Center to use for the 2020 hurricane season, Wilfred. And it's very likely that we'll see this name used in the next week or two. So, what does the National Hurricane Center do when they run out of names? They switch over to the Greek alphabet, which means we could see a Hurricane Alpha in the near future. The National Hurricane Center hasn't used the Greek alphabet since the 2005 hurricane season, which had 28 named storms, including Hurricane Katrina, Rita, and Wilma. Currently, the National Hurricane Center is monitoring Hurricane Paulette, Tropical Depression Renee, Hurricane Sally, Tropical Storm Teddy, and Tropical Storm Vicky. They're also monitoring two other areas of disturbances, only one of which has a good possibility of developing into a tropical system. Live in the Weather Center, Emily Kay, Fox 44 News.